So even for Kalidas, it was mentioned that he can be a mythological character. Exactly, Kalidas का खुद origin का there is no uh, you uh-huh. know uh, fixed date. कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं कि वो राजा भोज के time में थे second century hmm. BC में. कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं कि ये विक्रमादित्य के time और कुछ ये भी कह रहे हैं कि वो थे ही नहीं. Prabhula Thapar once said that जो हिंदू temples जो डिस्ट्रॉय हुए जो जनरली जो हम कहते हैं ना मुगल्स ने आके हिंदू टेंपल्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिए तो शी सेट कि नो दिस थ्योरी इज रॉन्ग बट इट वाज एक्चुअली हिंदू जो किंग्स जब फाइट करते थे दे गो एंड एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रॉय दोज टेंपल्स सो आर नॉट वी ऑथर्स हु आर राइटिंग हिस्टोरिकल फिक्शन हम हिस्ट्री को तोड़ मरोड़ रहे हैं फॉर द कमिंग जनरेशन एक्चुअली नहीं बिकॉज यू सी इफ आई इफ आई ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं कहती कि चंद्रगुप्त के कि कोई ग्रीक वाइफ थी तब मैं हिस्ट्री को तोड़ मरो रही हूँ देर इज दस वन मोर कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी वट आई हैव रेड अबाउट चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य सॉरी चंद्रगुप्त टू दैट ही मैरिड हर ओन डॉटर इज इट ट्रू देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अवेलेबल ऑन गूगल अबाउट हिम ऑन दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रॉम पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स इट वॉज नॉट दैट कि लोग हिंदुज्म हिंदुज्म करने लग गए या सेक्युलरिज्म छोड़ के या कम्यूनल हो गए ऐसा कुछ नहीं है इट्स एक्चुअली अब हमारी हिस्ट्री लोगों के सामने आ रही है हेलो दोस्तों एंड वेलकम टू द शो ऑफ बुक्स एंड थ्योरीज पॉडकास्ट यहाँ हम बात करते हैं बुक्स की और बुक्स में छुपी हुई थ्योरीज की और सबसे अच्छी थ्योरीज कहाँ मिलती हैं हमारे इतिहास में हमारी हिस्ट्री में रिसेंटली मैंने एक बुक पढ़ी जिसका नाम है शेडोज एंड सीक्रेट दी पार्टली पुत्रा कॉन्स्परेसी रिटर्न बाय हरिनी श्रीनिवासन एंड पब्लिश बाई ट्री शेड्स इस बुक को पढ़ के ना कुछ अजीब थाट्स आए मेरे दिमाग लाइक दिस बुक टॉक्स अबाउट चंद्रगुप्त टू विक्रमादित्य कालिदास ये सब हमारे हिस्ट्री का पार्ट है पर अगर आप इनके बारे में ढूंढने जाओगे तो आपको बहुत कुछ कम मिलेगा जितना आपने मुगल्स के बारे में पढ़ा होगा शायद उसका एक परसेंट भी हमारी हिस्ट्री में अवेलेबल नहीं है हमारे टेक्स्ट में अवेलेबल नहीं है हमारी स्कूल बुक्स में अवेलेबल नहीं है तो सोचा क्यों ना हम बात करते हैं इस बुक के बारे में हमारे ऑथर हरिनी के साथ तो बने रहिए इस पूरे वीडियो में क्योंकि यहाँ बहुत कुछ बात करने वाले हैं गुप्ता डायनेस्टी के बारे में चंद्रगुप्त के बारे में कालिदास के बारे में और बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस हैं मेरे पास तो ये मंदिर है बुक्स का तो फटाफट बेल आइकन दबा दीजिए एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल और हम बात करते हैं हरिनी जी के साथ नमस्ते थैंक यू हरिनी फॉर बींग ऑन माई शो ऑफ बुक्स एंड थ्योरीज पॉडकास्ट आपकी बुक बहुत अच्छी है मैं इसमें पढ़ चुका हूँ तो इससे पहले कि हम आगे कंटिन्यू करें आई वुड लाइक यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू योर सेल्फ टू माई ऑडियंस ताकि ऑडियंस को पता रहे हम क्या बात कर रहे हैं किससे बात कर रहे हैं थैंक यू हिमांशु थैंक यू फर्स्ट फॉर हैविंग मी हियर ऑन योर पॉडकास्ट हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते माय नेम इज हरिनी श्रीनिवासन आई एम ऑथर एडिटर कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट प्रोफेशनल एंड आई आल्सो हैपन टू बी अ फॉर्मर सिविल सर्वेंट आई प्राइमरीली राइट हिस्टोरिकल फिक्शन माय टू बुक्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉनर इंक्लूड द कर्स ऑफ अनुगंगा एंड द रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड शैडोज एंड सीक्रेट्स बोथ सेट इन द गुप्ता पीरियड other than that i also write romantic comedies the x factor which was a romantic comedy released last year and other than that i have some short novellas which you can find on amazon i am a major hindi film buff old hindi films as such i love to dance and i am based out of gurgaon india so you are doing very good book dance with me mere show ka ritual hai every one does a book dance in the last and how does one do that okay we'll come to that we'll come to that yeah. <laughs> okay so uh, first of all uh, like you said you are a civil servant mm. you have written so many books you dance so what what this complete journey is all about how how you le- why you left civil servant why into books you know the content marketing the entire so journey has been very accidental actually it mm-hmm. hasn't been very planned i must say so um, i have a masters in english literature from delhi university and after that i started working with uh, encyclopedia britannica as a senior copy editor post that i got through the civil services i was with the indian ordnance factory service which is uh, which was under ministry of defense for roughly 3 3 and a half years jabalpur due to jabalpur yeah in fact i was posted in uh, ordnance factory khamaria which is in jabalpur just outside i studied city. there engineering college oh jabalpur. wow okay <laughs> <laughs> that's why you said jabalpur right yeah so 
that was my brief stint with the Indian Army Factory Service. Post that, due to some personal reasons, I quit the civil services and moved to Germany where I did an MBA mm -hmm. and then got into the private sector, right? Because obviously a civil services, I mean, they don't recognize civil services or for that matter, mm -hmm. a master's in English literature was not recognized in Germany. Mm -hmm. After spending roughly around uh, nearly 10 years in Europe, I moved back to India and then just got into content management and project management in the, in the private sector. Okay. Roughly around 2014-2015, I had another short stint with the government of India as the editorial advisor to the publications division in the publications division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, where I worked on a very prestigious project with Rashtrapati Bhavan. During that particular stint, I edited more than around 18 to 20 books. I mean, and that was all for the government. And I have been uh, empaneled and working on Oh, as a consultant off and on with uh, the government or with several divisions of the government, you know, and I have edited books for the Election Commission, Department of Post and several other organizations organizations like that. So these books are for uh, not the general public mm -hmm. or? No, they are available. Publications okay. uh, on uh, the Publications Division website or for that matter, the Rashtrapati Bhavan series, of course, would you would find it in embassies across the world. It is, it is for okay. uh, public okay. consumption. Great, great. But non-fiction. <laughs> Obviously. And then after so, that, I got into writing, you know, uh, so this was the journey in uh, when you when it comes to my career at some point in time being an english literature student i always i mean i'm a voracious reader and once mm. when you really do read so much you do tend to you would want to write mm. on your own so somewhere i got lucky and uh, in 2014 my first book 15 i think 2015 my first book came out which was a children's book and after that, somewhere around 2019, I got more serious into it when The Curse of Anuganga came out. So that, okay. in short, has been the journey. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So how, how this Gupta dynasty, a book about Gupta dynasty, why? Because there are two books on Gupta dynasty. <laughs> okay. Um, somewhere around 2015-2016, I was a part of a writer's group on Facebook. It was a very small writer's group and I'm very, I mean, and that I think started this whole journey when it comes to the Gupta period books. Uh, the group was base, basically comprised of some published authors as well as some aspiring authors. Mm -hmm. And we would dis discuss detective fiction mainly because we were all fans of detective fiction and history. And the topic once came up on this particular thing, in this particular group was uh, why is there no historical detective fiction set in India? Hmm. Even though Indian history is so vast and so rich. Hmm. And uh, the, the discussion was whenever you talk of Indian historical detective fiction, you had Madhulika Little who writes about, you know, Musafar, her Muzaffar Jung series. Or you have Arjun Raj Gayant who writes uh, his stories based on the British Raj. But the other uh, periods of history have Indian history have largely been ignored mm -hmm. and in fact Madhulika Little was a part of this Facebook group mm -hmm. so we all discussed that let, let's divide up the in, entire Indian history and pick one particular phase each and write a short story mm -hmm. so we wrote a short story each and that was just an extremely you know I mean it was an independent exercise just because for the fun of writing it was a detective story set in a particular period. At that point in time, I picked up the Gupta period. So we we set a date saying that, okay, uh, we will finish the story by a certain date, which was six to eight months later. Mm. So that was the period that I started researching on the Gupta period and my first, sh and the short story came out. I was very lucky when uh, Vineet Bajpai uh, liked the story and, and told me, why don't you convert this into a novel? Would you be able to convert it into a full-fledged novel? Mm. And that was the story behind The Curse of Anuganga. As when you're asking me why the second book also, is because this period is so rich. And once you have researched a lot, I mean, I, I can say that of all the periods in Indian history and in historical periods, I think this is a little bit, this period is a little, is one that I know a little bit more than the others now. And it was the golden age of... It was the golden age, yeah. yeah. So, uh, coming on that only, so Gupta dynasty, hmm. our history, mein, what is so important? Because you have researched a lot, so that's why this question. See, it, as you said, it is the golden age because our, the Hindu civilization was at its 
you know peak at that point in time hmm. you had all sorts of breakthroughs in astronomy aryabhatta is from this period you know bhaskara is from this period in mathematics in literature you have kalidas so you have all these uh, visionaries so to say luminaries all in this period and even as a uh, in terms of prosperity it it was one of our most prosperous periods in ancient hmm. indian times you know so the sone ki chidiya probably stems from this period Adibar, onwards yeah. hmm. and from a, from the hinduism point of view a lot of the strictures you know that we uh, follow today like you know the codification to into all the dharma shastras took place at this time you had a lot happening and it was definitely the peak then and um, again politically we were very strong you hmm. had uh, samudra gupta and chandragupta vikramaditya and under them you had the gupta empire covering most of no- mm. northern india in fact going all the way down nearly till you know pakistan first till uzbekistan there you know if you looking at mm. the northern part of it but it extends down to the south itself and mm. then if you include the vakataka kingdom because uh, strategically a very good alliance had been made chandragupta's daughter prabhavati gupta was married into Uh, to the king, to to Rudrasena uh, in the Vakataka Rudra. dynasty, and that mm. was entire Deccan. Mm. So you see, even the expanse was so much. It mm. is a very uh, crucial period in Indian history. So uh, while I was reading your book, <coughs> it talks about murder mysteries, <coughs> everything which was happening in that particular era mm. of Chandragupta. So what percentage of fiction in this, or it's a complete history? Oh, it is complete fiction. Most of it's it is fiction. It's a complete fiction. fiction. uh the the thing a uh, hallmark or whatever the characteristic of historical fiction is that the history part of it is authentic so the setting the city you know the kind of description of the cities and maybe uh, as far as possible the way i have kind of placed society to be is base is factually correct mm. that is history but when it comes to uh, the story part of it it is extremely fiction Hmm. like uh, the whole thing and i'm i'm sure you would probably have a question on kalidasa here so and when i when you ask me that question i'll describe more about what is fiction and what is hmm. fact out there so a little controversial question i'll ask hmm. see hum kehte hain na humne history ko tod marod diya jaise mughlo ki history ke bare mein bhi kehte hain tod marod diya so are not we authors who are writing historical fictions hmm. hum history ko tod marod rahe hain for the no, coming generation actually nahi because you see if i if i okay for example agar main kehti ki chandragupt ke ki koi greek wife thi tab main history ko tod marod rahi hu hmm. yahan pe mera jo main character hai shonak he is a very normal 25 year old matlab wo to bahut ordinary hai wo to mera pura fictional character hai hmm. ya jo koi mara hai is mere kitabon mein i mean i write murder mysteries right hmm. so jo hai that is that is fiction wo to main kuch bhi kar sakti hu main history ko tod tod nahi rahi i am not touching the kings and the queens or the uh, personages or for that matter wo log sanskrit bolte hain hmm. like I'll, i mean i'm going to answer your controversial question with a little bit of a controversial answer that means i'll just know? add on that first kyunki main soch raha hu on the prospect of jo aaj ki generation hai gen z wo is book ko padhenge ya aur bhi kai books is type ki jo history ki books padhte hain fiction historical fiction chal raha hai they might take that as an history so what how you will say that or you will ensure we authors as should ensure that they should not take it as a history but they should take it as a fictional history what they should take no if you are looking at the way patlaputra has been described now that hmm. is that is not fictional ha tab voice you so they will be learning a little bit about how people lived but how they differentiate between that this is a story at the end and and we make and nowhere nowhere when i speak about the book do i say that this is a the chanaka my character was a real life character hmm. or for that matter the foreigners being killed in shadows and secrets or for that matter in curse of anuganga there was a merchant who got gets killed mm-hmm. that doesn't that's not true at all it is just a story the backdrop is history and i think people who read historical fiction unko you know ye samajh aati hai because ye you're just it's a story in a different backdrop mm-hmm. kal ko i mean for us this is contemporary life but agar in 100 years later somebody writes a story about the covid times so covid times actually happened hmm. that that will be authentic 
the, the story that they'll weave there is different. Hmm. See, but so this as, is not to be confused. The imagination what you have done exactly. in a complete book, it's, it's very beautifully done. But okay. when you read it, you will start feeling that you are living in that uh, era of uh, Gupta dynasty. So that, that's the beauty of your book, I'll say. Thank you. And uh, that for me is again validation because research is very key. Hai huh. That, that, that comes you know? out in your book. While, while reading it, you can feel that research work. And I always love that when you research in book, I really like Because I myself do a lot of research work while I'm a writer, so I write something. Like my next book is coming on uh, child psychology. So there are all the teenagers mobile games khelte hain, so how that impacts their psychology. So I, I've done a lot and lot of research about it. I've met few doctors, psychologists to understand ki unke dopamine pe kya asar padta hai, how these mobile game companies work. So mujhe bada chakta jab koi research karke koi book likhta hai. So. <laughs> Achha, uh, another question from the history side. Although wo era pura Hinduism ke liye bhoot strong tha, Chandra Gopt, uh, मतलब इट्स अ इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ अ डिबेट एक्चुअली मैंने जब गूगल किया तो देयर वाज सम पीपल सेइंग सम हिस्टोरियन सेइंग दैट चंद्रगुप्त वाज एक्चुअली जैन ही वाज नॉट अ हिंदू बट ही प्रमोटेड हिंदुइज्म अ लॉट सो व्हाट्स योर व्यू ऑन दिस नो फ्रॉम व्हाट आई हैव रीड एंड आई हैव ट्राइड टू रीड यू नो फेली नोटेड हिस्टोरियंस लाइक आर सी मजुमदार एंड ए एस आल्तेकर पीपल हु हैव रिटन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग सी जहां तक मैंने पढ़ा है गुप्तास वर प्राइमरली वैष्णवास आई थिंक सो समुद्र गुप्ता आप कॉइन्स पे भी देखोगे जो गॉड्स हैं दे आर ऑल वैष्णव गॉड्स इनफैक्ट विष्णु विष्णु एग्जैक्टली एंड उनका कुछ एम्बलम भी आई थिंक गरुड़ा होता है उस पर या सब सब इफ आर नॉट मिस्टेकन ठीक है सो इट इज अ वेरी इट दीज रूलर्स वर डिवाउट वैष्णवास एंड जो प्रभावती गुप्ता का एक एडिक्ट है एट एक इंस्क्रिप्शन है आई थिंक इट्स द पुणे इंस्क्रिप्शन उसमें भी शी क्लियरली वेन शी इज लिस्टिंग हर लीनियज एज बींग द डॉटर ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त समवेयर वो मैंशन आता है कि दे आर वैष्णवाज एंड दे वर्शिप विष्णु आई थिंक इट वॉज इन कुमार गुप्ता टाइम दे स्टार्ट वर्शिपिंग दे स्टार्ट इन मूविंग टूवर्ड्स शाइविज्म बट एट द सेम टाइम दे यूज टू वर्शिप विष्णु बिकॉज प्रीवियस जो उनके पर दादा दादा थे वो सब विष्णु को मानते थे तो दे दे आर सो आई डोंट आई हैवन कम अक्रॉस दिस पर्टिकुलर व्यू व्हेन दे आर कॉलिंग यू नो व्हेन दे आर कॉलिंग देम जैनास जैन्स इट इट कुड बी अ रेफरेंस टू चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य बिकॉज चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य बिकेम अ जैन एंड दिस इज चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य इज द किंग फ्रॉम द मौर्यन डायनेस्टी Hmm. He, I think, went to Karnataka and became a Jain in the end. But Chandragupta to Vikramaditya, that's the Gupta period. Maybe they the, have a, maybe the that is the that that could be the confusion because I do know that uh, Chandragupta Maurya, hmm. he uh, retired in rather retired. Yeah, he took one vase and went off hmm. to Karnataka, and he died in Karnataka, and he was a practicing Jain. Because But, while reading your book, I, I went to Kora and searched a lot about Chandragupta. I think the confusion to, is Chandragupta. So there were many cautions saying that Chandragupta to Vikram. Aditya was Jain but he claimed to be Hinduism so that's that sort of questions where I thought why not clear from you no I, I have a feeling that they may be confusing the two kings Haan, but maybe. Chandragupta to Vikramaditya who was the ruler of the hmm. Gupta dynasty was definitely Achha, uh, Hindu in, in, king we have read lot about Mughals hmm. our history is very important we have so many schools but the Gupta dynasty which was our Hindustan ka golden age tha, uske baare mein kahin kuch nahi hai. नो टेक्स्ट अवेलेबल कहीं हमारी हिस्ट्री की बुक्स में नहीं है कहीं हमारी एंशियंट लिटरेचर्स नहीं है सो वॉट योर व्यू ऑन दिस आई हैव अ फीलिंग दैट हिस्ट्री हैज बीन टॉट इन अ पर्टिकुलर विद अ पर्टिकुलर व्यू पॉइंट आई मीन नॉट गोइंग इन टू टू मच डिटेल्स पहाप्स वेन द करिकुलम वॉज फॉर्म एंड द बायस दैट दो पीपल हैड इन द बिगिनिंग वन द करिकुलम वॉज फॉर्म वॉज हैवीली टूवर्ड्स these later periods rather than the gupta period and somewhere it has gotten completely forgotten i mean in, in, even in ncert it is not hai hi nahi ek teen sentences honge ki bhaiya gupta period karke kuch tha for example ahom dynasty ke bare mein where have we heard but ahom dynasty was the largest hmm. longest dynasty and not only that even google pe bhi available nahi hai hmm. if you if you read about gupta dynasty bahut limited portion available hai You will not find details of it. Like for example, Kalidas ki hum baat kar rahe. Kalidas ke baare mein kuch bhi nahi available. 
एक्सेप्ट दैट की हीज रिटर्न दीज 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 थिंग्स एंड ही वॉज नवरतन इन चंद्रगुप्त टू उसके अलावा कुछ नहीं है वेरी बॉर्न कौन थे कब पैदा कुछ नहीं है सो डू यू थिंक दैट इट इज इंटेंशनली रिमूव may have been intentionally removed but at the same time you're talking about a period which is thousands and thousands of years back jo agar hamare sanskrit literature mein i'm sure i i don't read sanskrit i mean i don't remember sanskrit i've learned sanskrit in school but i don't remember sanskrit anymore ho sakta hai ki bahut research karne pe kuch na kuch sanskrit text mil jaye but essentially i think the focus has been of our historians you know uh, like if you look at the historians that we have access to to begin with in schooling and all romila thapar and all they have been very focused towards the mughal period and this so as i said the biases of whoever set the curriculum at that time definitely came into play romila thapar se mujhe yaad aaya romila thapar once said that jo hindu temples jo destroy hue jo generally jo kehte na mughals ne aake hindu temples destroy kar diye So she said कि no this theory is wrong but it was actually Hindus जो kings जब fight करते थे they go and actually destroy those temples and that was the process <laughs> so जब जीत गए तो दूसरे के पूरे temples destroy कर दिए after that there was a lot of debate on that and then the conclusion was different so हमारे ही वेदों में लिखा हुआ है कि when the दो kings का fight होता था so they don't uh, destroy the temple they, they, they the pick temples. up the deities to their, to uh, their kingdom exactly aur fir wahan unki puja ki jati thi and next 3 years the next king need to uh, capture it and they need to take it back that was the process so i i always feel that historians uh, our indian historians uh, they have also tweaked a lot of history see history because you're telling tales of something that's happened in the past khud ke biases are very likely to come in hmm, hmm. and and that happens so yes that we to stream i agree with you on that so uh, there is there is one more uh, controversy what i have read about chandragupta maurya h oh, sorry chandragupta two that he married her own daughter is it true no. there were a lot of questions available on google about him on this no, this no, particular no, no, question no he did not even i believe that it's not <laughs> correct because but there were so many questions so i thought ki why not uh, note it down and have a question for me over see this. i i haven't really gone around uh, looking in kora and really doing my research hmm. so maybe i haven't come across this but in whatever material that i have read no you know uh, this isn't the case okay. he did not marry as far as i know he did not marry his daughter and did did chandragup to uh, assassinate his elder brother to yes that that is a very interesting uh, you know story or uh, again it is it, it was mentioned in in a text called devi devi guptam i think uh, which was an extant text which was found where there was this entire story about how he killed his elder brother ramagupta hmm. so after samudra gupta it, it was meant that ramagupta, ramagupta came gupta in but then again this is not historically as such uh, but we don't have any it, it, there is a text which basically mm-hmm. talks about this thing mm-hmm. and how he kills uh, so what happens is those days shakas the shatrupas of the shaka dynasty was constantly attacking the gupta empire mm-hmm. so samudra gupta was in war with them to try to kind of push them away so one battle they would win one battle they been so there was they were constantly at war so essentially what happened is ram ram gupta the elder brother is supposed to have married uh, dhruva dhruva devi okay dhruva datta dhruva devi okay I, i'm not very mm. i don't remember right now they are tough names <laughs> no it's been a while because uh, not to let out any spoilers this i've touched upon this in the curse of anuganga okay i need to read that <laughs> <laughs> so he he married her and she was actually in love with chandragupta from the child childhood mm. but because ramagupta became king after samudragupta died and chandragupta was the second son he uh, got he married dhruva devi and uh, they were i mean so they were living for together for some time or whatever when when there was an attack by the shaka king and ramagupta was basically taken uh, as captive and to to by kind of uh, get him out they asked for her in return mm-hmm. and he was weak enough to try to surrender and say okay she can come she'll come you keep my wife you let me go 
Okay. But and when Chandragupta heard of this, that he was planning to agree to such a thing, he dressed himself up like a woman and went there and killed the Shakas and then got him out okay. and then killed his brother. So okay. the story is that, and then he took over as king. But at the same time, it is there only in this play. So one doesn't know whether it is hmm. true or not. I'll tell you why I asked this question. Because while I was because I have told you, I have done research. I have read my book, but I have researched a lot. So while researching, I found somewhere that there was someone who was comparing Mughals with Chandragupta. It was mentioned that. मुगल्स मुगल्स अपने भाइयों को मार के राजा बनते थे तो वो बुरे हैं तो इन्हें भी तो मारा है अपने भाइयों को so that was the only text what I received उसमें आगे पीछे कुछ कहानी नहीं थी that story what you are telling ना now it makes sense this comes only from this particular play which was found in the sixth century हाँ so we don't know whether play के लिए see again historical fiction right अब अभी making the same mistake that you said that people would make कि उसको history समझ के बैठ गए हैं बिल्कुल हो सकता है वो कहानी हो हाँ मतलब क्योंकि मैंने जब वो एक line पढ़ी तो मुझे लगा कि ना शायद आपने बहुत research किया तो आपको शायद इस बारे में कुछ पता होगा I tried to do a lot of things मैंने Germany किया Bard किया Chat GPT किया सब के मैंने इस बारे में कुछ details तो मिले मुझे but there was nothing कुछ नहीं मिला मुझे so but the story whatever you are saying even if I perceive that, I think then it makes sense. Then, and if it is true, then it makes sense. Then it makes sense, definitely. But he also did, but the difference was he did not do it for the sake of the kingdom. That I think I would still make a difference between Mughal kings king killing their brother and this man killing hmm. Ramagupta if it is true. Because he didn't kill it because he became king. Hmm. He killed it because to avenge the honor. His wife. The insulted his own wife huh. whom Chandragupta had loved at one point in time. Hmm. Chandragupta didn't marry uh, the, her, her best. No, no, he married her. After the after Ramagupta okay. died, he got married to her. Okay. And this is also according to the same pl hmm. play, you know. Hmm. That completely makes sense. Completely makes sense. No good. Uh, another thing which 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 I researched and found about this is we talk Akbar ke Navratan ki baat karte na. Birbal and all sare. और अगर आप गूगल भी करके देखो तो सारे नवरत्नों के नाम तो छोड़ो उनके सब कुछ डिटेल्स अवेलेबल हैं बट देर आर नन ऑफ द डिटेल्स अवेलेबल अबाउट द नवरत्न ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त टू और नवरत्न तो एक्चुअली कंसेप्ट ही इनका है कंसेप्ट इनका है जो दे वर इन 435 और मुगल्स केम इन 1500 सो आपको रिसर्च में पता चला उनके नवरतन कौन थे कुछ एक दो नाम मिले थे बट ज़्यादा नहीं मिला as you said because जहाँ कहीं ढूँढने पे as I said see one handicap that I have faced and I have tried to rectify is the fact that unless you read primary research जब तक नहीं हो पाएगा तब तक you know you can't really know much and I really feel that I would like to learn relearn Sanskrit to read read actual texts शायद उसमें मिलेंगे but as such, when I was researching, I didn't get the name of their names. No, I didn't get the name of their names. Kalidas got and one of them was one of them and one of them was one of them and one of them was one of them. Even Kalidas, I'm talking about the same thing, but I research a lot. I researched a lot of research with them. Even for Kalidas, it was mentioned that he can be a mythological character. Exactly. Kalidas ka khud origin ka there is no you know fixed date. कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं कि वो राजा भोज के टाइम में थे second century BC में. कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं कि ये विक्रमादित्य के time और कुछ ये भी कह रहे हैं कि वो थे ही नहीं. राजा भोज नहीं sorry राजा विक्रमादित्य only because विक्रमादित्य का भी सी चंद्रगुप्त का uh, appellation was Vikramaditya, hmm. but there could have been another king in second century BC whose name was Vikramaditya. Hmm. Nahi to koi ra. At least I haven't uh, come across that. Uh, over Google, I have seen the people saying that he was not there. Then Those are available. That means he was there. Yeah, in fact, uh, Mira jo author's note hai for this particular book, is I talk about this that Keith Kalidas. Uh, uh, say scholars of Sanskrit and history have placed him in the BC era as well as the CE era. 
as i said i am in no position to agree or disagree with any of these theories but for the purpose of my books i have gone along with the theory that he is at the time of uh, Vikr- chandragupta chandragupta and the reason i wanted to do that also is ki i was basing my story the curse of anuganga is actually based on nandivardhan which is the capital of the vakataka empire hmm. and where queen prabhavati gupta was the queen regent queen hmm. ab ek theory ye bhi aaya hai कि कालिदा जो प्रभावती गुप्ता की दूस, का दूसरा बेटा था ही ही वाज आई थिंक कॉल्ड दिवाकर सेना आई थिंक और दामोदर सेना हु देन बिकेम किंग कॉलिंग हिमसेल्फ प्रवर सेना उसने कुछ एक ट्रीटाइज कुछ कुछ पोएम लिखा था ग्रंथ लिखा था उसने एंड दैट वाज वेरी वेरी सिमिलर टू कालिदास स्टाइल एंड देन इट सेड दैट कालिदास प्रॉबली ट्यूटर दीज टू बॉयज go staying there in anandivardhan after the after queen prabhavati gupta became a widow okay and there is another thing that ram ramtek ke paas meghadutam compose hua tha ye bhi proven hai hmm. so then i put so then you say okay fine so he is the you know itna trusted navratna hai king hmm. chandragupta ka so obviously, obviously and he is such a famous प्ले राइट और हैज द ट्रस्ट ऑफ द किंग तो उसने इसीलिए शायद भेजा होगा यहाँ पे अपने ग्रैंड सन्स की पढ़ाई के लिए एज अ ट्यूटर एंड वेन ही वॉज ट्यूटरिंग देन ही वॉज स्टेशन देर इन नंदीवर्धन विच इज क्लोज टू राम टेक एंड ही वुड हैव कम्पोज मेक दूटन तो हाउ यू रिसर्च एवरी थिंग मतलब मेरी क्वेश्चन इसलिए पूछा हूँ क्योंकि इतना कम डिटेल अवेलेबल है ना और वे यू हैव रिटर्न इट इट नीड्स लॉट ऑफ इमेजिनेशन एंड लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च वर्क पर इतना रिसर्च कहां से किया आपने मतलब हाउ यू रीड एवरीथिंग फॉर दिस लॉट्स ऑफ छोटे 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 सी बहुत पढ़ाई की है एज आई सेड इट फर्स्ट 6 मंथ्स तो बस इट्स लाइक आई रीड अबाउट एवरीथिंग दैट आई कुड फाइंड ऑन एंशिएंट इंडिया हम्म बिकॉज़ लुकिंग फॉर ओनली गुप्ता पीरियड बुक्स आल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल देन आरसी मजूमदार का एक भारतीय विद्या भवन का 6 और 9 वॉल्यूम सीरीज है हिस्ट्री ऑफ एंशिएंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया बेसिकली इन 9 इन 9 वॉल्यूम्स हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया उसमें वॉल्यूम नंबर थ्री इज द वन दैट कवर्स विद द एंशियट पीरियड उसको पढ़ा फिर देर इज ए एस आलतेकर का बकट का गुप्ता एज करके एक बुक है तो ऐसे कुछ किताबें तो मतलब लिटरली बहुत बार पढ़ी है एज अ फ्लैक टेकिंग एन एग्जाम ऑन इट देन आई आरकाइव डॉट और पे यू फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिकल आर्टिकल्स एंड टेक्स जो भी उस पीरियड के बारे में मिल रहा था आई वॉज कंज्यूमिंग दैट and besides that jest or pe kafi articles hai so even while so this was this is the entirety of hmm. my research i read michakatika because shudra ka you know play was also related to it kalidasa ke works padhe hain i'll be i've read it in translation i'm not saying i've read the original hmm. but translation mein bahut ye sab padhi hain hmm. so you just kind of get the feel of how it might have been in those times and while writing also sometimes at like Like curse of Anuganga, me there is a person who dies poison, who gets poisoned. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I was thinking, I'm. 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 हिस्टोरिकल फिक You need to do a lot of research work. Like I, I write a fiction. I write romance, I write thrillers. I write research work. Yes, but time, time is also important. Because I am writing exactly. from the present era. I know things. I have more research options. I know that I am writing about my era. Like I said, I am writing about mobile game psychology. I know that I will get all the material. Being from a telecom industry, I know everything about it. But when you talk about an era which is not in the present era, there is nothing. and still you are doing such a great job by itna che imagination leke so that is commendable yeah but the facts that oh. i put of this period are fairly authentic hmm. you will be able to 
फाइंड देयर सोर्सेस तो ऐसा नहीं है कि सारा इमेजिनेशन से क्रिएट किया दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सी एंड द रीजन व्हाई हिस्टोरिकल फिक्शन में रिसर्च इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज आल्सो बिकॉज़ सी ह्यूमन बीइंग्स का बेसिक टेंडेंसी तो वही है वी ऑल हैव द सेम पावर पावर के लिए ग्रीड यू नो मनी के लिए ग्रीड और लास्ट और व्हाटएवर दैट्स दैट्स कॉमन इन द इमोशंस दैट वी फील आर आर आल्सो वेरी कॉमन एंड आई डोंट थिंक दे हैव रियली फास्टली चेंजड ओवर the centuries hmm. so if i was to just write a story without emphasizing on that it could very well be a story that's taking place in today's time i think what sets that apart is that era ka feel aana chahiye hmm. and for that the research is important true very true and aaj ki date mein where we are saying that so much of hinduism ki baat ho rahi hai <coughs> and it's not only about hinduism i i was recently reading a book <coughs> it stated one very good thing दिस आर की फ्रॉम पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स इट वॉज नॉट दैट कि लोग हिंदुज्म हिंदुज्म करने लग गए या सेक्युलरिज्म छोड़ के या कम्यूनल हो गए ऐसा कुछ नहीं है इट्स एक्चुअली अब हमारी हिस्ट्री लोगों के सामने आ रही है पीपल आर मोर अवेयर अबाउट कि हमारा एंशियन टाइम कैसा था हम कैसे थे हमारी हिस्ट्री कैसी थी एंड बिकॉज नाउ दे आर नोइंग ऑल दो फैक्ट्स people have started talking about it yeah. and they are getting the platform also to talk about things i think uh, people who are writing historical fictions or history i think you are doing a great job by actually bringing things in front of everyone actually tha sure. kya thank you another point i was just thinking about the research and all one particular treatise that nobody talks about is the kama sutra the first two chapters mm. of the kama sutra just talks about how a nagaraka or a sweet city dweller would live in those days and what his schedule would be It's hmm. a very important social treatise. So that's hmm. another. So you you have researched read about that completely? I, I have not. The read. first two chapters, yes. Hmm. Because those are the ones that actually talk about who kaise utta hai, kis cheez se nahaata hai. You know, all these are like your ways of living, yeah. na? True, true. No, in ancient, na, you need to if you if you start reading and researching, there's so much. There is so much, and I'm not saying that I know everything about this period. I just said I little, I know a little bit more hmm. than what I would know about, say, the Chola dynasty, for instance. Great, great. So, oh, oh, why you feel that readers should read this book? Although I will say that why they should read it, but I think they should read this book because it has got a very gripping story, and uh, Shadows and Secrets particularly. has also talks about a particular sect that not many people would have heard of it's a it's a sect that existed sometime in the 3rd century or the 2nd century uh, ad c in western asia and it got extinct in china in the 13th century so th- hmm. that's all i'm going to talk about it but but the fact that uh, you should read this book for a very gripping story which in which you'll not know, not only learn about the gupta period but you will also learn about this particular sect and how this these two you know the, you have an international angle to this thrilling story perfect perfect so uh, in my show uh, generally my question is sabse pooch leta hu ek bar how much spiritual you are and what's your definition of spirituality okay ये थोड़ा हट क्यों जाता है क्वेश्चन हट क्यों जाता है एंड द वन दैट आई वाज सर्टेनली नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर ओके अम आई थिंक आई वुड लाइक टू थिंक आई एम अ लिटिल आई एम स्पिरिचुअल नॉट जस्ट स्पिरिचुअल आई थिंक आई एम फेली रिलीजियस आल्सो इन दैट सेंस ऑफ द टर्म आई डू माय डेली पूजा दैट्स समथिंग दैट आई बिलीव इन सो दैट्स द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी फॉर यू नो दैट्स नॉट माय डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी माय डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी वुड बी इफ यू if you kind of connect or be- believe first in a being in a force that's guiding all of us and also bring that in your day to day actions so that you don't you know we're all karma i karma day to day actions and i do believe in atman and parmatma great <laughs> it was completely extempore i don't even know <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's one ritual which i do on my show क्योंकि हम कहते हैं रीडर्स नहीं है वैसे रीडर्स बहुत है मैं ही मानता हूँ रीडर्स बहुत है पर लोग कहते हैं रीडर्स नहीं है तो मैं कहता हूँ क्योंकि बुक्स एंड थ्योरीज का चैनल है सो आई आस ऑल द रीडर ऑथर्स पब्लिशर्स हु कम टू माय शो कि लेट्स आस्क आर रीडर्स टू गो एंड बाय अ बुक रीड अ बुक एंड वी गो अ स्टेप अ हेड डू समथिंग एल्स टू मेक दम अंडरस्टैंड कि हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट बुक्स आर तो हम एक छोटा सा बुक डांस करते हैं 
रेडी अपने बुक डांस के लिए तो ये है हरणी जी की बुक शेडोज एंड सीक्रेट्स इसके बारे में आपने बहुत कुछ सुना अभी हमने बात की गुप्ता डायनेस्टी के बारे में और मेरे हिसाब से आपको सीरियसली बुक जाके पढ़ना चाहिए क्योंकि ना गुप्ता डायनेस्टी के बारे में बहुत कुछ अवेलेबल नहीं है और जब हमें उस जो चीज़ अवेलेबल नहीं है उसके बारे में पढ़ने मिलता है ना तो यू विल फील इट आई एम रीडिंग दिस बुक आई हैव ऑलमोस्ट फिनिश्ड इट एंड आई विल से कि द इमेजिनेशन व्हाट इज़ बीन डन अबाउट दैट डायनेस्टी आपको उस डायनेस्टी का फील आता है तो हरिनी दिस इज़ माई बुक यू आर स्टिल द वन मैं सबको अपनी बुक देता हूँ एंड आई विल होल्ड यूर बुक एंड विल डू आई स्मॉल बुक डांस बुक डाउन कुछ नहीं जस्ट वील जस्ट हैंड आप तो वैसे ही डांसर हो तो यू कैन डू एज एज यू वॉन्ट एंड जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट रीडर वाइल डांसिंग दैट वाई दे शूड गो एंड रीड योर बुक टेल दूवर्स दैट वाई दे शूड रीड योर बुक Please read my book because it will tell you all about the Gupta period while telling a very good story also, and I think it's a good story. And there is a surprise international angle that you will find. Yes, and uh, it's available over Amazon, Flipkart, offline, everywhere. Offline, available. everywhere. And it's a beautiful book. So guys, don't wait. Just go and grab this copy. Thank you, thank you for being on my show, and it's a wonderful talking. And up or jal jal di Gupta Dynasty ki baare mein, Maurya Dynasty sab ke raval likhiya. Thank you very much. Thank you, Himanshu, thank for you, having me here. Thank you. Thanks for being thank on the you. show.